Hello everybody, today it's Sunday film day and I'd really like you to help me make a film about Crafty Ponies show jumping. If you'd love to join in, it's really simple. Number one, you make a jump out of odds and pieces that you find in the house and, and paint them or you could even use your own uh, Crafty Ponies jumps that you've bought from Crafty Ponies. Uh, these are the Crafty Ponies poles that you buy. Now, if you don't have a show jump that you've bought, you can make your own poles. These are rolled up pieces of white paper with um, electrical tape wrapped around them, or you could just paint them. Okay, so just rolled up pieces of paper to make poles. I'm going to make a quick uh, wall show jump because I like jumping walls. Yeah, I think they're good fun. So I've got a box. Now you can make your show jumps out of anything. So be creative, go around the house, find uh, just rubbish and think about the kind of jump that you could make. You could even make a cross country jump. You could uh, paint some toilet rolls to look like logs. So you see that's going to be our wall. There's going to be the side of the wall and I'm going to chop these down to be the, um, the curved bricks that go on top of the wall. So you don't need to do take much time doing this because I would like you to take a six second video okay when you're finished that seems smaller somehow a six second video when you're finished and send it to us here at Crafty Ponies so the email address is contact oops at craftyponies.co.uk oopsie daisy and if you send me your little six second clip I think I need to make these smaller a little six second film clip of your crafty pony jumping over your jump before 4pm so we're on a bit of a time limit here so I need you to get a move on that's why I'm doing this quickly. So there we go. Can you see? So there's the wings for the wall. Here's the wall itself. And then here's the bricks that they can knock off. So I've got my paint. So I'm going to paint this box first because it needs a bit of time to dry. I'm just painting white all over. If you need things to speed up when you're painting them, a hairdryer is good for that. I think I might need to get a hairdryer because my brush was a bit wet when I started. Right, put that to dry. I'll paint the bricks for the top. Now make sure you put, I'm, I'm just working on an old board here, but you need to work on newspaper or an old sheet and then you don't get paint everywhere. Okay, so that's one brick for the top. And another one. <clears throat> so, could you run and get me a little bit of toilet roll, please? Because with the toilet roll, I'm going to make the flowers for the wings of the jumps. Oh, and a hairdryer as well, please. There we are. Well, everyone that sent rug pictures in, I was so impressed and it was so difficult to find a winner. It would be great if everybody could be a winner, but I think you all uh, agree that the winners did produce some super rugs. I also had to choose designs that would work well when they were made up into fabric prints. <clears throat> um, we will be running another competition very soon. But first of all, I've got to get the rugs made up. And how that works is I get the designs and I put them on the computer. 
and then I send them to the print factory <coughs> which is in Cheshire and the print factory the print factory um, takes the prints and puts the prints onto special paper and then heat presses the special paper against fabric finished um, it's a bit of a rush job but we haven't got much time so crack on here's my finished jump and I nominate Pippa and Crafty Brown Pony to jump the jump so we're going to take the jump outside one thing I forgot to mention when you're doing your painting please put a pinny on okay um, I didn't put a pinny on before very naughty make sure you paint with a pinny on Bye for now.